Hey loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Logan, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing my first ever study with me video. I actually really enjoy studying, and these videos always motivate me to be way more productive. The first class I have to study for today was Western Art History, and right now I'm taking notes on the Maraud Altarpiece. I haven't actually taken the first exam for this class yet, and I feel like I'm definitely overstudying, but it's better to be overprepared than to not study enough. The next class I had to study for was Academic Writing 2. To be honest, English has always been one of my least favorite classes, even though I absolutely love writing. I was definitely one of those cringy Wattpad writers and all of my trashy works are still on there. I really really want to take them down but some of them are still getting likes and I'd feel bad if someone really enjoyed one of them and then I just took it off of the website. I'm also a really slow reader so it takes me a bit of time to read the chapters as well as me attempting to take notes on them. Also, the teacher for this class is really good but she also scares me a lot so I always need to make sure my work is my best. The next assignment I had to work on was finding one of two articles for my research paper. We're supposed to be doing research all semester long for a paper and I feel like I never really learned how to write one properly. I wrote one last term when I was at community college and I feel like we learned absolutely nothing. On the last day of classes, I think everybody rated that professor really poorly. I'm always incredibly honest with teacher reflections, so even if I don't like the teacher, I won't rate them poorly if they are actually good. After English, I went back to art history and I had to do some research for my formal analysis paper. For this class, we have to visit a museum and write two papers on works in a certain time period. For the first paper, I chose to do St. Anthony Abbott, Tormented by Demons, which was at the Yale University Art Gallery. I chose to do this picture since I thought the story would be interesting, and I thought it would be a lot easier to write about it if there was a cool story behind it. It was also in the Quattrocento, which was what we were currently working on in class, and I felt way more comfortable doing something in a time period that I was already a bit familiar with. After doing more research, I realized that there are a lot of other artists who had way more exciting versions of St. Anthony Abbott and the Demons, and it makes me really wonder why Sano Di Pietro chose to make his so flat. After doing more research about the picture, I had to do research on how to actually even write an art paper. I've never written one before, let alone take an art history class in my life, so I was really confused on what I was supposed to do. From what I've learned, it's mostly just analyzing the colors, shapes, sizes, and symbols and every single detail of the work to try to extract what the meaning was. In class, the professor always asks us what we see in a work, and I honestly have no idea what she's looking for half of the time. Most of the other students have a good idea though, since they're actually majoring in art. After the research, I moved on to practicing guitar. I'm currently a classical guitar performance major and my teacher assigned me to do two hours worth of practice working on exercises in my guitar technique book as well as giving me two new etudes and two pieces for our classical guitar ensemble. To be honest, I'm supposed to be doing like three hours worth of practice every single day, but I can barely get through one. I really don't enjoy practicing since I'm very harsh on myself and I can get angry very easily. But one thing that helps me with this is setting a timer for each exercise I have to do. It lets me know when to move on so I don't get too frustrated and it definitely keeps me sane. It's also really good for time management. I also am usually wearing my bathrobe and pajamas in every single clip even if they're separate days. They're the most comfortable thing to practice in and do my work and sorry for looking hideous. After guitar practice, I had to go to work for a few hours, and when I got back, I read a little bit of my book for my film and literature culture class. The book I'm reading right now is called Americana, and it's been pretty good overall so far. Because I'm so slow at reading, it takes me a really long time to finish the book, so I was attempting to get a head start on my reading. That didn't really work out though, since I'd forget to read the book every day because my other classes had harsh deadlines. That was the last big thing I had to do for the night, so I just finished it off by doing a quick quizlet for my art history class. 
The first thing I worked on to start the day off was English. This class always assigns the most work and I don't exactly enjoy it. Our professor assigned 30 pages of reading along with finding two articles for our research paper, as well as doing worksheets on both of them. I didn't realize that the whole process would take such a long time and I spent way more time on it than I originally planned. I wanted to have two essays that I had due done by the end of today, but because English took me so long I didn't end up getting to my art history essay. This sucked because I wanted my professor to look at my paper before I handed it in since I've never written an art paper before, but because the English homework was due the next day I needed to prioritize it. I thought that we only need to do a worksheet for one of the articles, and when I was halfway done with the first worksheet, I realized that I had to do another one. I was not happy and just wanted to be done with English. I also didn't know that we needed a highlighted printout of all of our articles, and I ended up having to go back and re-highlight all of my articles on a printout. For my research paper, I'm planning to do something around inter-country adoptions from China. The professor told us to choose something we'd actually be interested in since we'd be working on this paper for the whole semester. I am a Chinese-American adoptee and I straight up have no clue how I really got here. I know there's a lot of issues with the one-child policy as well as illegal baby snatching. And in my research, I also found out that Hunan, China had a big human trafficking incident where babies were being trafficked and sold into adoption to American families. This really had me shook because I'm from Hunan, China, and the whole situation was really, really sus. The topic is pretty hard to find any good sources for it, though. Everything I was finding was either only a few paragraphs long or a whole book. I eventually found an article on the history of inter-country adoptions, but it took me a really long time to read. I usually like to retype the points I find interesting in an article, but I always end up retyping close to the whole thing. I'm working on the problem though and trying to only copy the facts that are truly important. Once I find a good balance for note taking, I'll definitely be able to prioritize my time better. For this article, I gave up retyping the article in like two paragraphs in and I just started copying and pasting it into my document. I have no clue how so many study tubers and study grammars have such beautiful notes. I hate taking notes on paper because I have a lump on my finger from pressing on my pencil way too hard. Apparently, I also hold my pencil with a weird finger so the lump is in an even weirder spot. I've tried using those squishy grip things multiple times, but they never really work out for me. My handwriting also isn't the neatest, and the longer I write, the less legible it gets. I definitely prefer typing way more. I've enjoyed it ever since I was a kid, and I still play games like Nitro Type today. The only good thing about my handwriting is that people can't really cheat off of me because they have no idea what my writing says. Along with beautiful handwritten notes, I've also seen a lot of study enthusiasts using their iPads for studying. I've seen this around school as well, and I wonder how helpful it really is. I'm not sure if I'd be able to use this on my own iPad though, since it's really old since it's a hand-me-down from my dad. Pretty much nothing will download on it since it's not compatible. After over three hours, I finally finished my English homework. For once, I was actually looking forward to practicing guitar. I enjoy studying and don't mind doing it for a long period of time, but doing the same subject, especially one that I'm not very fond of, definitely drains me. This week in particular, I didn't get nearly as much practice done as I should have. During my lesson, I definitely fell flat and disappointed my teacher. I feel really bad about it, so I have to practice a lot more this week to try to make up for last week's horrible performance. After guitar practice, I had to work on a discussion board post for my film and literature culture class. This week we watched the movie Monsoon Wedding and we had to answer some questions as well as reply to two other students' responses. The end of this video is blurred out a bit since I'm responding to my classmates' discussion posts and I don't really want to catch a case. The film we watched was an Indian drama that depicted many different love stories, and overall it was pretty good, but I was really confused for a good half of the movie. There were way too many characters and I couldn't keep track of what was really going on. Out of the other movies we watched in class so far, this one was definitely my least favorite. The other two films that we watched so far were both from France. The first one was Ma Vie en Rose and Welcome. 
They both discuss prominent topics such as LGBTQ issues as well as immigrants from war-torn countries. The next assignment I had to do was also for my film and literature culture class. For this assignment, we had an interview an immigrant who came to the United States and asked them various questions about their lives in America. For this assignment, I interviewed my coworker who is from Greece and I thought it would be really interesting to hear his point of view. According to him, Americans are known to be really rich, but now that he's in America, he realizes that you have to work hard to be rich. As of when I'm filming this, the majority of my class have already presented their immigrant assignments, and I loved hearing about all the different cultures. Being an American adoptee, I feel like I don't have any culture myself, and I'm completely whitewashed. I'm super jealous of anyone who grew up learning multiple languages and hope that one day I could learn another language as well. I took French for four years in high school and I should have stuck with it, but my music theory class conflicted with the French 5 class so I had to miss out on it. On my own, I've been attempting to learn Japanese, but haven't been able to keep up with it since I've started university. I used to have a teacher and she was really helpful, but I felt like I never really had a good foundation with my grammar. On my own practice, I was trying to learn more kanji and practicing my speaking with different apps such as Memrise, Mango, and Kanji Teacher. I hope that once I'm able to get used to my schedule at school, I can get back to learning Japanese again. The last assignment I had to do today was for my music theory class. Since I already took music theory in high school, the class has been pretty easy for me, but rhythm has always been my worst unit. I definitely messed up on a bunch of these since I was super tired as well. Thank you so much for watching my first ever study with me, and I hope that you'll subscribe for more content. I somehow managed to do 13 hours and 16 minutes worth of studying this weekend, and it feels amazing to be this productive.